we're going to make deviled crab today. Deviled crab is a nice basic dish you can make and, and bake it all on its own with a little lemon juice and butter. You could use it for a crab stuffed flounder. You could use it for a scalloped and crabbed dish. You could do it for a crab melt over an English muffin. So it's a good basis for an awful lot of recipes. And we're going to show you all the ingredients and how to assemble this today. There are an awful lot of ingredients to this recipe, so it's best that you assemble absolutely everything before you get started. We're going to need one half fluid ounce of clarified butter, which would be a tablespoon of clarified butter, one third of a cup of diced red pepper, one third cup diced onion, one third cup celery, diced fine, one whole egg, which we're going to whisk, a quarter cup of chopped scallions, a quarter cup of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of dried parsley, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, one teaspoon of dry mustard, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of Tabasco, one pound of crab meat. Now you could use jumbo lump, you could use lump crab meat, you could use claw meat, you could use special. This is going to get broken up quite a bit so you really don't need to use uh, the jumbo lump crab meat which is going to be your most expensive and then you need one half cup of dried plain breadcrumbs. Step number one is to take our one ounce half ounce of uh, clarified butter heat this up in a nonstick pan and what we're going to add to this is our third of a cup of celery third of a cup of diced red pepper and our third of a cup of diced onions. What we're going to do is we're just going to sweat these vegetables until they're just soft and this will be our basis for the devil crab. Our onions, peppers, and celery are now cooked try to cook them without a lot of discoloration. Uh, a mirepoix is normally onions, carrots, and celery. And the trinity, which is used in Creole cooking, is normally peppers, onions, and celery. So this is more of a trinity that we're going to use in our devil crab. We're going to just set this aside to cool and proceed to assemble everything else. While we're waiting for the peppers, onions, and celery to cool, we're going to assemble all of our other ingredients. We're going to take our one egg and we will whisk that in a bowl to our egg we will add our quarter cup of mayonnaise and we will whisk that together Try to make a nice smooth emulsion out of it. We will then add our dried parsley, our Old Bay seasoning, our dried mustard powder, our salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and our quarter teaspoon of Tabasco. We'll whisk this all together. And then we will take and add our cool peppers, onions, and celery.
fold them in. And then add our half cup dried breadcrumbs. And our crab meat, we've gotten uh, pasteurized canned crab meat. The one thing that you want to do is make sure that you've drained the crab meat and you've picked through it to make sure that there are no shells. And we're going to fold in our crab meat. Try not to break it up too, too much. Now, I'm using claw meat, which was relatively reasonable. I've never tried to do this with imitation crab meat, but it might work out fairly well and be very, very inexpensive if you're just going to use this as a, a stuff. Uh, the one last thing to mix in would be your quarter cup of chopped scallions and the breadcrumbs could be done you know before or after the crab meat it doesn't uh, make a whole lot of difference it's kind of a personal preference to see which works out best for you and there you have it please look for my companion videos using the double crab in a baked double crab baked stuffed flounder, stuffed shrimp with a lemon beurre blanc, and scallops and crab au gratin, and a crab melt. So these videos will all be following. This is a master recipe. Thank you.